Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Dennis. So, a couple weeks back I had a 5900X, took it out of the box, all the pins were bent. So, I've been in contact with them. Um, it's in for RMA, whether they're going to give me a new one or what, or just tell me they can't help me, I don't know yet. But, one of the things I wanted to double check is I want to make sure I update the BIOS on that motherboard I was putting it in. So that when I, if I do get it back, at least then I'll know if it works or if I have to buy a new one, that it'll work, and I'll mess around with it again. But, I want to go to another system I got, take the 3600X out of it, I'm going to update the BIOS on that one first, then I'm going to update the BIOS on the one I have, get everything ready to go, and that's going to be the process. So the first one I'm going to do is go to the old system, and I'll show you which one that is, and uh, show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is the system I got all put together here with the 3600X in it. So I'm going to take the glass off, remove the CPU, but first I'm going to update the BIOS. Now this is an ASUS Strix B450F gaming motherboard. We're going to update the BIOS on this first, then I'm going to go to the other one, put it in, hopefully everything will work. If it doesn't, well then I'll know that uh, at least when I go to get the other CPU, I'll have a proper motherboard that will work to put it in when it starts. So basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this out. I'm going to update it first. Take the CPU, put it in the other motherboard. Update the BIOS. And hopefully everything will start up. But if it doesn't start up right away to start with, then I'll know right off the bat that it's incompatible with... Um, it's just maybe a dead motherboard. So that's the goal right now for this video. Is to see if that motherboard actually will work at all given that all I got to use is the 3600X which will definitely allow me to update the BIOS for a 5000 series even though it should have already been ready uh, first I'm going to double check what BIOS version I already have and on main board it should tell me brand version 3003 and the date is 2019 12, uh, so 12th of September 2019 so obviously we're like two years newer so we're going to be updating to a much newer BIOS okay so first thing you do is look for the Rogue Strix B450F gaming motherboard so do a search on Google or or uh, Internet Explorer's Microsoft Edge whatever browser you're using it'll come up click on it to go to the site click on support then you're going to go to you find drivers and tools and BIOS and firmware. And you're going to get the version that comes up. Now this version is 4801, dated the 22nd of March 2022. So pretty current. And it's going to say it's improving system performance and stability. Okay, so you're going to download that. It's going to pick a default download location. And it's going to do it pretty quickly. This is not a very big file. So click and go show in folder which is going to open up your file explorer now i'm using windows 11 in this case and it's going to be right here okay so if you double click it it's going to open up and the file we want is right here and we're going to go extract we're going to pick our usb drive which in my case is my kingston drive click ok and ok again and it's extracted and it's there so now you're going to get out of here verify through file explorer that it's actually there on your drive so here it is it's a cap file All right everything is right there so now you need to go in your bios so the next thing you do is you're going to restart your system or restart and spam the f2 or delete key whatever one's going to get you in there in my case, it's going to be the delete key. I've uh, seen it because I've been in there more than once. There's where it tells you press delete or F2. Delete's the one you're going to want to take us into our BIOS. So, one thing I want to point out is your memory right now, speed is at 3800 megahertz. Okay. Frequency 2133 is the default. All right. Now, you can set this later on through AI Tweaker. Go to AI uh, Tuner, click here, 
and choose DOCP standard and you can choose your memory from there but we're not going to do that right now and the reason being is when you go ahead and update your BIOS it's going to reset everything to defaults again so just be aware of that so we're going to go to boot uh, or tool okay go under tool ASUS Easy Flash 3 Utility, click on that, and here it's going to give you the option, Easy Flash 3 Update, please select the BIOS Update Method. We're doing it via storage or a USB drive, so we're going to click on here, and click Next. So, it's going to find our file, which is right here. Okay, so important notice, please back up your BitLocker recovery key, and encryption and operating system before updating a BIOS. Okay, so make sure you do that if that's a concern that you're worried about. Make sure before you proceed that you know the risk. Because if you proceed and you don't know the risk, this could break your system if, it's, if something goes wrong. So be aware. So right now I'm going to click yes and let it go ahead. It says, do you want to read it? Yes, of course. Otherwise it's not going to work. Did you really want to update? Of course. Say yes again. And down at the bottom, you can see down here, it's now processing. So we're going to let it go through. And everything is going to happen. Should be pretty quick. But then we'll go in and we'll verify that our BIOS is in fact updated. And of course, this will probably reboot your system. In which case, we will probably come back into the BIOS one more time. Just to uh, set our memory if you want, you can just hit the F1 key. Anyway, I'll show you that. Okay, so we're uh, progressing along pretty good. Update successful. System will reset. I'm just going to click OK. Well, it does it automatically. So now when it comes up, I imagine it's going to go right to the BIOS, but we'll find out. Okay, so in this case, okay, so we're just going to do F1. Now we're in here, all we're going to do is exit. At this point you can just do F10, save and exit. Or we can go into our memory under the AI Tweaker. Go here. DOCP standard. It's picking our memory by default. Okay, so if you click it you won't see anything different anyway. And now we can exit. Save changes and reset it says and say okay actually before i do that let's just cancel before i do that we can go back to main and there's our bios bios version 4801 times 64. okay so as i mentioned that was the bios for b450 f gaming motherboard this is the asus prime b550 plus motherboard not going to do that update for the BIOS right now it's likely very much the same but I haven't done a lot of BIOS updates so I want to make sure I do it separately so that there's no confusion between one and the other and somebody does the wrong update or anything like that so this motherboard is going to be updated it should already be able to do the 5000 series but because my CP was damaged I never got to really find out when I put the 3600X in it, it should start up. Everything should be fine. If it is, I'm still going to go through. I'm still going to update it. But I may actually decide to... Maybe I'll do it uh, without the CPU in it, just to show you that. Or I'll do it with the 3600X. Um, we'll find out in the next video. Anyway, just to keep you updated, the first part was taking out or taking the first system where I'm going to get the CPU from to test this one uh, out, update the BIOS first so if I decide to keep that one in this one and the 5900 never materializes then I'll just put a better one in that system and this one will get a better one too. I'll keep it 3600X just for updates. So anyway, that's where we're at. Okay, so a lot going on. Update the BIOS and the other one. Uh, update the BIOS in this one. I'm going to swap CPUs. Anyway, the other one's all good to go. It can take a 5000 series CPU if I want to do that next, which I may do. 
and uh, I'll keep the 3600X just to do updates and the 5900X if I ever get it back and they give me a new one or a replacement I don't know what they are going to do maybe they'll just tell me uh, I'm out of luck at least now you know how to update the ASUS motherboard using the Easy Flash utility in the BIOS. I haven't done that before, so this is a first. Like I say, there's different methods of updating your BIOS. So this is just one of them. Okay, so it'll help you. A lot of them still use these methods. There's different multiple methods you can use for updating your BIOS. You just have to be aware of which ones they are so and decide which one you want to use. So if you like the video, it helps you out. Give me a big old thumbs up. Uh, if you're new here, think about subscribing. Maybe hit that join to support the channel. Uh, for, hit that bell for notifications. And, of course, thanks for watching. And views are more important to me at this point. If you watch it, watch it all the way to this point. Thank you. And if you didn't watch the video a little bit back, uh, two videos back, I believe it was, I did a giveaway. I don't tell you if it's a giveaway. Not typically. If there's a giveaway, it's later in the video that you probably didn't watch. So if you want it, if you want a free license for Swift uh, PDF software that I did, go back and have a look. And it'll tell you how. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.